Okay guys, uh, this is actually hollow through here, so I can put a battery pack in there and it's got a cylinder that goes up through the upper spine here that connects to the eyeball holes right here. So I'm going to stuff up my battery pack for the LED lighting system in here and put the LED up through that cylinder so that we can light up these eyeballs. First we got to dig this support system out. Now this bottom empty void, the supports come out pretty easily. I just sliced it down the middle and crushed it and pulled it right out. Now I have to get this void out that goes down this spinal canal and that will lead to the hollow eyeballs so we can get our lights. As you can see, this is pretty flexible. I could squeeze it together like an accordion. And I just have to break this out. I'm just gonna take my scraper tool here. Just maneuver it around. break all those little delicate points in there and loosen this up. Just give it a twisted motion. Now I can turn it, and I think it's going to come out now. There we go. Our support system. Totally out. All right guys, I've got our Terminator head mask off. I've got the base mask off because I don't want to paint this whole thing chrome looking, chrome aluminum looking. I want it to look like just this is the real part uh, that is the chrome aluminum look. And then the base is just gonna be this gray color here. I'm gonna first, got some fast drying, two times ultra cover primer, sticks to plastic. Shake that up quite a bit. I've already been shaking it for a few minutes and we're going to go ahead and put a base coat on here all the way around and let it dry.
All right, now I'm gonna hit it with some satin black primer. All right guys, now we're gonna apply the Rust-Oleum metallic finish. Now, I don't expect it to come out looking this chrome looking. These usually fool you. So we're gonna try to get it as close as possible to metallic as we can. So I've shaken this up and we're ready to apply it. This paint takes about two to four hours before you can handle the product and 24 hours to be totally dry. So I'm gonna put another coat on this after about another uh, 45 minutes, another thin coat, and then I'll let it dry overnight. Okay, what I've done here now is I've implemented the eyeballs with these square LEDs. They come off of these strings here and I've tied two strings together so I can string them up inside there into the eyeballs and loop them around and have just one square LED each. I painted the, uh, the teeth and outlined them with the gum line and the uh, the tarnished line of the teeth and I've also outlined with a uh, black paint marker all the details so that's how you do that and that's connected to the battery pack here which I have velcro on and velcro up inside there so it just sticks right inside there I just stuff these up inside that cavity right there. I finally got it together all painted up holds my remote control right here in the back slot and look at how the teeth turned out I impressed myself with this job here I painted them like an off-white color and then I had a uh, acrylic pen fine point with the uh, dark darker brown that I outlined the teeth I did paint the eyeballs white and in here you'll see that's two single LED chips right there that light up. I've powered this with a battery pack. I'll leave the links in the description below. This battery pack, uh, I've got rechargeable batteries in it. It's got an on off switch right here. And I put Velcro on the back here. 
so you can remove the battery packs to easily replace the batteries take the lid off of this and then I've ran two LED strips up there only using probably about six to eight inches two of them I cut them and then one LED chip just shows in here the rest are just in the void here underneath through the neck so that goes back in here with velcro easy as that and there's my terminator let's light it up there you go guys let's do a different mode speed it up Go back to red. So guys, that's what I did with my first 3D printer. This was one of my first projects with the uh, T-800 Terminator head. And I was determined to uh, make it as realistic as possible, which I think I uh, accomplished. Also, I put a LED strip in there, spliced it up had two LED chips for the, each light bulb and worked with a battery pack and wireless remote. So guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.